imagine this, enjoying the great Australian sunshine in your backyard, lazing about on a brand new deck. Well, the only thing that will make that better is if you build the deck yourself. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this top little spot right here. Here's what you'll need. Timber posts, bearers, joists, decking timber, dry concrete, wet shoes, coach screws, decking screws and nails. The tools you'll need are a tape measure, a shovel, a spirit level, a hammer or a nail gun, circular saw and a string line. Before you get too far into it, it might be a good idea to give your local council a call just to make sure that your structure is going to fit within the local building guidelines. If your deck exceeds a certain height or a certain square meterage, you might need to get approval. And you don't want to finish your beautiful deck and then have to pull it all up again because you didn't get the thumbs up. First step is to prepare your work area. Start by marking out your string lines. Then you can rip up your turf and then you can start digging your post holes. Okay, the first part of our structure that we're going to set is our bearers. Now this is the solid bit of timber that's going to bear most of the load of the deck. With this particular deck, we want our finishing height to come just below this retaining wall here. That's our reference point. So our bearer height needs to be a fair bit below that so that it can allow for a 90 mil joist and then another 20 mil for our decking timber. Now any deck that spans over 1.8 metres will require a bearer. Ours is 2.6, so we've got one running right through the middle. You want to make sure that your bearer is as level as possible. So to do that, I'm using my spirit level. And I also have the added bonus of having a retaining wall here as an additional anchor point. Now as you can see, I've had to notch out a little bit of my bearer there to make sure that my bubble is right in the middle. Once you've got that nice and level, all that's left to do is fix it off. Now, there are two ways that you can assemble your decking frame. You can prefabricate it, like I'm doing here, or you can choose to put it in place and put it up as you go along. I've chosen to prefabricate it right here because two reasons. One, I've got a nice level working space and it's easy to move around. Number two, it makes your workflow a little bit quicker because you don't have to measure and cut each joist as you go along. Okay, we're nearly there. We've got a decking frame in place. The next thing to do is to make sure it's level. Now, this is really, really important. Grab yourself a couple of scrap offcuts, timber offcuts, and we're going to use that to temporarily brace and prop the entire frame so it's nice and level. After that, we're going to screw off our wet shoes on the outside of our deck, and then all that's left to do after that is pour in some concrete. Okay, we want a little bit of additional strength in our structure. So the way to do that is we're gonna cut these little things called noggings and we're gonna nail them off through the center of our decking frame. Now the way we wanna do that is we wanna get our measurement from somewhere up near the top plate. That way, once we cut off all our noggings, they're gonna be around about the same length as this end plate and we'll make sure that we allow for any bows that might be in our joists through the middle. Once we measure them up, we cut them off and then we nail them off through the center. Now if you want your deck to look amazing, you want to make sure your spaces in between your decking timber are spot on. So use a bullet head nail, and as you're fixing it off, just pop it in between nice and simple like that. Another great tip is to make sure that all your cuts of your decking lengths are right over the top of a joist. If you do them in the middle, there's a chance you might fall through it. You don't want that to happen. Now all I have to do now is just lay my length out. Well, have a look at this deck. You can get all of this done in just a couple of days and it becomes the perfect place to sit back, relax and entertain. Cheers.